Hey guys, it's me, Don Fanatic, and welcome to week 5 of the Pokemon Premier League. Today, my battle is versus Titos, and this is the biggest battle of my season so far. Purely because me and Titos both got one win, three losses. Whoever wins this can climb the table, has a very good chance of uh, getting up to about mid-table. That's how close the league table is at the moment. But, that's that's how close it is. I'll quickly go over the team. I know you won't be able to see it. Now, I had been um, thinking about bringing Hitmonlee in place of Raikou. And it's a relatively late decision to bring Raikou over Hitmonlee. So I'm really hoping that doesn't bite me in the bum. Because I have now lost my knockoff user. And I'm really fearing a Assault Vest... Um, Conkelda, even though I have Crest, which completely wall completely walls it, but never mind. Um, we have Crest and Polion, or physically defensive Crest, with Thunder Wave, Moonlight, Psychic, Toxic, and Polion with Scald, Raw, Protect. I'm expecting a choice to Victini, and if I can have a Protect Mon in on it, that'll just help me a lot. Um, Mega Alakazam, fully offensive this time, no substitute. I've got the Charge Beam though. I tested this with Ellie, this team. I swept her with, or Troy, her or Troy, with a plus one. It just swept the whole thing. So if I can emulate that, because he has got a Togetic and a Blastoise. The only thing I'm scared of is a Magic, not Magic Coat, Mirror Coat, Blastoise. But that's, that's what I'm worried for the most. Um, I've got a third specially offensive Pokemon. Choice Scarfed, uh, Chandelier, it's got enough speed to speed creep the max speed Tornadus he might carry. Um, I've also got Trick, just in case I fancy, you know, tricking this onto, Shan onto uh, Conkelda or something. Because if it is Assault Vest, there's a chance he might switch it in. Um, then I have Choice Specs Raikou. Have I already said this? No, I said Empoleon, didn't I? I've got a very specially offensive team. We'll just. But the one physical one I have is potentially devastating to his team. Uh, we've got Raikou here with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power, Fighting, and then we have Terrakion. If I can get a Rock Polish up on Terrakion, and there is no Dusk Noir involved, I can pretty much one-shot his whole team. That's how important this Terrakion is. Now, on his team, there's one particular Pokemon which I've thought about and I haven't come prepared for. And that is Nasty Plot Lucario. Now, it will carry Dark Pulse, and my most specially defensive Pokemon, or my two walls, combined with Lucario, are weak to both Dark and Fighting, obviously Dark Pulse or a Sphere. I'm pretty sure he'll probably be running Vacuum Wave over E-Speed, which is nice. I did bring um, Hitmonlee originally with Mutt Punch on it, but I get outsped by that thing anyway. Unless I'm unburdened, but I was not. I was Life Orb Reckless. What music should we go for? I say we go for number four, because I feel like number four today. Um, and this is the party Pokemon box. Right, if he doesn't have Raichu, Raikou is going to be a massive player here. I'm really, really, really hoping. He does not have the Raichu. He has... Okay. We have got a very good chance, because... I can't... I'm immune to Amber Palm's fake outs. I think Teeny's going to be scary. He's got a Blastoise. He's, he's very weak to Electric. So, I'm very tempted to lead with Empoleon because I have got Protect. I can scout for a trick. I can block the, uh, what's it called? I can block the Fake Out. And that's my thought process. So, mind games are real. Get my rocks up. As soon as that, what's it called? I can't think what it's called. As soon as Dust Noir is gone, which, if it's physically defensive, which I'm expecting it to be, Chandelure can take like an absolute champion. It can destroy it. Uh, if Victini's not scarfed, then that's dead to, probably dead to a Shadow Ball. Things die. He's probably bought Ambipom because he's probably got a bit of a ghost weakness going on. He can hit everything neutral, so. Good luck, have fun, Titos. Oh, the music! Come on, we've got, I've got to win this. I'm in the mind. I'm in the zone. 
we'll see what he leads off with. Tornadus, Pimp Slap. There is the Ambipom. I should have probably just led with Chandelure. But we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to obviously fake out. Do I reveal my Protect yet? I might as well. Let's go for the Protect. He might expect a Toxic Stoolie set or something. Don't know what he's thinking. I can also scout out for something like a Power Up Punch. I'm pretty sure he gets Low Sweep or Low Kick. One of them too. But Cresselia has this thing sorted, even if it wants to use knockoff. He didn't bring Conk or Lucario. That has just dawned on me. He has not brought Conk. Oh my god. I am so happy right now. My defensive core is going to put in massive work. Choice Band Victini could be a problem, but he won't be fast, which is good. Because Chandelure will outspeed. Now, he's obviously thinking about it here. Is he going to go for that fake out? Is he expecting my switch? into Chandelure here. What's he gonna do? Come on, dude. All you have to do is click Fake Out. Unless he's Miss Savved or something. Or Miss Gen. Oh, Miss Savved. That's a retro word right there. Come on. Come on, Titos. He's gonna time out. Well, I think he might have just timed out. He stayed in, which is interesting. So, free rocks. Low kick. He does have the low kick, which is interesting. So I might go out into Chandelure. He might U-turn here. But I have got the Protect. This is why I'd... the Protect was a very late decision. I probably did it this Thursday night tonight. So he might get... Oh god, he might go for the knockoff. I don't know much about Titos' playstyle. That's my problem. I'm assuming this thing is probably Life Orb. Probably Life Orb. He might expect to switch into Cress. He withdraws. Okay, so he's obviously he's faster. I could have gone for the Stealth Rocks there. 360 no scope. That's Blastoise, which is not good. So he's obviously expecting. I could trick here. Oh, I'm so tempted. I am so tempted to trick right now. Because I'm sure, I'm sure I could live a hit. I have got Energy Ball, which is probably a 2-hit KO. If I trick this Blastoise, it will cripple him so much. But I need Chandelure. I need Chandelure for Victini. I just need to find out if he has Miracle or not. That's all I need to know. Do I trick? Is he going to be offensive? He could be offensive. No, he's going to have rapid spin. No, because he's got he's got defog. Hasn't he? He's going to score. I'm pretty confident of that. Let's go into this. If I can get a burn instead of a toxic on crest, that'd be fine. I have got toxic on crest. Oh, he didn't bring Tyranitar either. Oh, this is perfect. Cause my only offensive move is psychic. So if I can get a Toxic off on something, I'll be, I've got Toxic and Thunder Wave. So maybe if I go for Toxic, you might not expect me to have Thunder Wave. I want a Thunder Wave on Victini. I want to. He's taking his time. No one's touched anybody yet. Right, I switch. Obviously, I'm Scarfed. But I'm quicker than this thing anyway. I'm pretty confident anyway. It's going to Cress. Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail. Interesting. I wish I had Choice Scarfed him into that because it's... Negative priority, bring me in Raikou. Oh, this thing, okay. So I wonder if this is a Salt Vest Blastoise. That's what I'm thinking. Let's trick. Salt Vest Chandler could be interesting. I know, obviously, you might predict my switch here. Am I going to Victini? Oh, Victini would be a very ballsy play, it has to be said. He obviously expected my switch last turn. Trick? Alright, have a choice, Scarf, mate. Are you Assault Vest? Were you Assault Vest? Leftovers. Scald. Okay, that should not do much. Oh, I say that, it should do a lot. Whoa, Nelly. So now he's locked into Scald. 
He's locked into school. Okay. Very nice to know. He didn't bring Raichu, so I'm free to Volt Switch if he doesn't switch here. Then again, I'm free to Volt Switch in general. I switch. He's locked into school because he went after I tricked. He didn't switch because he would have gone. He would have switched first because he is faster now. Scald. Nothing appreciates a Thunderbolt at all. He didn't get the burn, which is nice. This thing is kind of useless to him now. He doesn't have a ground type, does he? He has not got an appreciated switch for this. His defensive core is weak to Raikou. I must keep it. That's messed his Blastoise right up. I mean, oh, I just realised Shadow Sneak might kill Chandelure from the range he's at. I have got some HP investment. Mm, 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 mm. He's really thinking about this. He's going to be faster, so I will switch out afterwards. If he stays, actually, I want him to stay in because I can get a charge beam off with Mega Alakazam. Which then causes all sorts of problems for him. He is really thinking. At this rate, he's just going to be locked into going for another school. Nothing on his team appreciates this at all. Nothing. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? Right, he withdraws, which is nice. I'm going straight for that Volt Switch. Goes into Kiki, what's that? That's not a Switch! Jesus Christ, that is not a Switch! That is... Oh, Serene Grace Charge Beam. This is what I have been after. If he does not have Thunder Wave, that's game. As long as Charge Beam does not miss. I need to trace Serene Grace. I will be faster, obviously, so if Charge Beam can kill, that'd be lovely. Probably won't unless it's a crit. But I am going to trace the Serene Grace, so it's a guaranteed plus one. Because I'm pretty sure it's a 70% chance for the special attack boost. Oh, because I don't have fun the way. Please, because I have not got Heal Bell. Charge Beam or something, please. What's he going to go for here? There's the Serene Grace. Just hit this. Right, we hit. That's guaranteed plus one. He lives. Is he going to go for the Wish or the Roost? Yawn. Oh, no. Well, actually, I have a free switch into uh, Raikou right now. I need to get rocks up. Because this thing will die. That's really annoying though, because the yawn. Ah, oh, the yawn. He can wish if he wants. Wish protect yawn. I'm so glad he has yawn and not fun the wave. Don't know what he was expecting Toxic for. Because ugh, it's such a good phasing move, yawn. It's so frustrating because I have got lots of phases. Well, not phases, sorry. I've got. Well, this isn't a setup, Mon. It's not designed to set up. What's he going to go for here? He withdraws. As long as he doesn't go into Victini. Yolo, that's Victini. Well, we are about to find out if this thing is choice. Honestly. I'm going to sack off Chandelure, and if he does go for the V-Crate and he is choice, then something is not going to appreciate a Fire Blast. <laughs> At all. Now, he might be fearing something here. If he switches out, it might confirm he's not Scarfed, and he is Banded. 
And I'm running Shadow Ball on this thing. Oh, my screen went off and I thought my like, electricity had gone out. Oh, my God. If Chandelier wants to go, that's fine. If he gets the speed drop, I don't know. He'll be neutral, so I will definitely outspeed if he goes for the V create and it does somehow kill something. If he wants to lock himself into a different move, that's perfectly fine. He might go for the U-turn. Right, I switch first. So if he doesn't switch here, they won't tell me anything. Shadow Ball. Oh, the plays. The plays. Now, is he life orb? No V create. Right, he could be specs or something. I'll be so mad if he's mixed. But I'm pretty sure I can live. I can live anything he wants to go for. It's free free rocks for me right here. I wonder if his Togekiss even has any attacking moves. His to his Togetic, sorry, will be dead on switch. If I can get rocks up, that'd be perfect. For Victini. You might expect me to protect just to scout. Shadow Ball will not be doing much because it's not stab. And Victini's got no, like, not, it's nothing to laugh about. Draws, which is nice. Does he go into Togetic? He does go into Togetic, which is a good play. Good play indeed. Now, what's he going to go for? Is he going to go for a Yawn? If I can bring this thing in again. Forcing him to go for a Defog, if he has it. Might even roost. Don't have Thunder Wave. Come on, you have Yawn. Go for that Defog. No, this was a chance for me to bring in my Terrakion. Wish. He will not have that Protect. I'm almost certain of that. Will Charge Beam kill? That's the question. Do I go for the Psychic and finish it off? Let's go for the charge beam. Be that guy. We hit. We kill it. Come on. The wish is useless. I'm plus one. What's a Dusk Noir? Unless he's banded. I didn't even think banded Shadow Sneak would kill. He has not got anything which appreciates this now. I don't even Victini's Shadow Ball would kill me from this range. Even with Specs. But then he could, he would be able to finish me off with a Shadow Sneak if he has it. Well. Here comes a Fake Out. Is he going to be Scarfed? Double hit. Oh, he. Oh, the dodge. Oh, the dodge. That technician double hit. Scarfed Ambipom, which makes me believe that's a choice specs Victini. I'm now free to fire off ghost moves. Which probably confirms his bird thing is not Scarfed. Oh, Mega Alakazam, thank you. This is what I planned. Tell you what, um, if he brings in Blastoise, that is game. So I can just charge beam in his face. He has got to think now. Victini. Is this where he reveals? Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shadow Ball might kill from here. I'm a plus one. Victini is bulky. I am modest max special attack. 
Shadow Ball, so he is Choice Scar Victini. I can take it. Oh, nice and special defense drop, of course. Let's go for my own Shadow Ball. That should kill. Yes! Sam putting in the finest work. He has a Choice Scarf Blastoise left. Dusk Noir. I still have Top... I still have Cress. I actually still have Cress. Which makes me so much happier. So you can go for the Shadow Sneak here, if you so wish. He found my Alakaz... I think it's Frisk? That's cool. Yeah, he might expect me to switch here, actually. Expecting the Shadow Sneak. I have no time to play around. I might just go... He's got Tornadus left as well. Spoonmon is the only thing that can outspeed Tornadus now. Is he going to have the Shadow Sneak? He does go for the Shadow Sneak, which is a shame. Alexam got three big kills. Three colossal kills. He's leftovers. Which is good. Good knowledge. To be honest, I think I can just stall the rest of his team out. Because I am that much of a knob. Do not miss. You can go for a knockoff or anything if he wants, but I'm physically offensive. If he's defensive set, he can't touch me, unless of course he is toxic. He has no reliable form of recovery other than pain split as well. Which is good. And of course rocks is gonna help with tornadoes. I'll be so annoyed if he switches to tornadoes because I want to fun wave it. It does get Dark Pulse. So it could do some big damage. Although, I think, if I, to if I Toxic Tornadoes, yeah, it gets Regenerated though, which is annoying. Very annoying. Come on. It's already gone better than last week, that's for sure. Really thinking about this. Shadow is he choice banded? That'll do nothing. Absolutely nothing. And we connect, which is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Crest is just here like a man. <laughs> oh, just imagine if I had calm mind. I can actually legitimately sit here and toxic stall everything. I'm glad I have rocks up too. He might actually withdraw. Is he going to go into tornado? If he goes into tornado, I'll be so mad I didn't click. Oh, I'm so mad I did not click Thunder Wave. If I click Thunder Wave, that's a good game. Whoa, that's not a lot. This thing is not bulky. I mean, if it's like Specs, it might even be Life Orb. He might just U-turn. He can't touch Cress. I was not afraid. Air Slash, he's going for them flinches. Ew! Ew! I'm not even invested! Ew! Duck! And before Lumberry. No. No. Okay, nice. I think the game is now officially mine. I can Psychic. I can kill things. Now he's gonna have... He's gonna let this thing die. Air Slash! Right, I'm gonna go for the uh, Moonlight this turn, he might predict a switch, because he does get regenerator. Let's go for the moonlight though, there is actually, there's no reason for me to fear it, even if he has shadow punch, he can't do anything to me. 
This is the first time Crest has done what Crest does best. Give that nice moonlight. Get that power hacks. Come on. Air slash. Okay, he's choice in some way. I'm very tempted just to kill this thing off. I will get two, like, lots of leftovers recovery, which is nice. Oh no, wait, he was leftovers. That. The ghost had leftovers and not a choice item. What am I thinking? It's gonna have Will O Wisp, I'm pretty confident. I want a psychic it to see how much damage I can do. question is, is he going to be the infestation set or not? At this point, Rakion is not... Oh, 360 no scope. Right then, time to toxic this. He might actually... No, there's no point in him rapid spinning. Let's just fuck. toxic this thing. I was going to switch... If he bought out Dusclops, I was going to bring into Rakion. See what he locks himself into, I guess. I'm also tempted, I'm hoping Dusk Noir has knockoff. I just done the little puffy hand shape thing. If I can toxic this thing, I can see out the game. With Empoleon and what not. Crest is absolutely pulling through right now. Please bring in Raikou. Nice and crit. Yes! That's the game! That has got to be the game! I don't know if he knows, but Dragon Tail has got minus priority on it. It's like Raw and Whirlwind. So, um, he's gonna be going last, no matter the fact that he's, uh... Actually, he's locked in. There's no reason for me not to go for Thunderbolt. I can stall him out with... The They're both poisoned, I can stall him out. And that's a dead Blastoise. Guys! I don't want to get too far ahead, but I think that is the game. I just need to get lots of... I just need to hit this Dusk Noir. I just need to hit him hard. I'm so glad I bought Raikou now. Because Hit on Lee, honestly, would not have done that much. But that plus that Serene Grace, Mega Alakazam is absolutely nothing to laugh at. True Specs Raikou. Are we going to pull through? And get the oh, he's got Earthquake! Ooh! I might just get him a kill back. Oh, Raikou, you absolute monster. He could ease... I'm going to preserve the 4-0, because goal difference does matter. As I'm dubbing it, goal difference. He cannot... Uh, he might predict a switch. I don't care if he predicts a switch. He can do whatever he wants. Let's go into Terrakion. Terrakion has done nothing this battle. Only because the others have done so well. It's not his fault. There's the Shadow Sneak. Is he going to reveal the Will-O-Wisp? I don't know. Earthquake should kill from this range. I am adamant at life orb. And I'm expecting this thing is especially defensive. While Blastoise was physically defensive. Because that Blastoise did not like that Thunderbolt. Earthquake! Yes! That's the game. It's a 4-0. Good game, Tito's. Good game. Oh, Alakazam was the main. F oh, Alak. Oh, Alakazam. You are Alakazam. Oh, hoo -hoo. Guys, I'm so happy. It's the second win out of the five games. Oh man, that was such a good game, Tito's. You put up a good effort, man. That. Oh, I was so scared of V create the whole time, and when I saw Shadow Ball on that thing, I was so happy. Oh, well, sorry guys, I just got distracted by scope. If you enjoyed this battle, it was actually a really intense battle. I really enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment, obviously you make sure you want to leave a, a comment. But um, other than that, guys, please go check out Tito's. He has a brilliant channel. He is, he's got an amazing GFX artist. He is like available if you want to like, if you pay him, but he's definitely worth it. He's done stuff for like um, uh, PK Sparks and Shady Penguin, so 
obviously you know he's got some sort of talent. Um, obviously PPL as well, go check out the PPL channel. Uh, that's enough of plugging, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.